Police arrested an NFL player outside of a DeKalb County nightclub. They say he flipped out over money that he thought someone stole from him. Channel 2's Taisha Fernandez is live at the club on Buford Highway in Chambly. And Taisha, you reached out to the Seattle Seahawks to find out if this player still has a job. Jovita, after several calls and emails all day to the Seahawks officials, they have not answered that question yet. But I can tell you that the defensive lineman was arrested here outside of this nightclub, and according to police, they had no other choice. Now, you want to come to Atlanta and spend your money and have some time at one of our establishments? Great. Have fun. Just act like a normal person. We're still working on finding out why Seattle Seahawks defensive lineman Malik McDowell was in Atlanta over the weekend. Sunday, just after 2 a.m., police say he was drunk and out of control outside of SL Lounge on Buford Highway in DeGab County. According to the report, it started when McDowell claimed one of the club staff members stole $600 from him. The report says his friends told him no one stole his money. Those friends couldn't calm him down. That's when a female Shambly police officer stepped in. McDowell is nearly seven feet tall and when that female officer said McDowell got aggressive with her she put her hand on her taser she said that's when McDowell said to her quote you scared of me why you got that out you scared of me huh yes you are please tell me why you're scared of me why are you even a cop if you're so scary police said McDowell kept screaming and demanding his money so they arrested him and charged him with disorderly conduct it's ridiculous they use um, the NFL for clout as a badge to say I'm above the law and that's just asinine and we're not going to have it Police tell me there is body cam video from police officers that night. Today I made an open records request to get that video. Investigators tell me I'll have it on Wednesday. We'll stay on this. I'm live in DeKalb County. Taisha Fernandez, Channel 2 Action News.